Yes, I was 19 when I got in my car accident. I was uh, on my way to go see uh, my son and his mother and uh, just have a day out. And uh, as I'm on the freeway, um, I am making a lane change uh, from the understanding um, that I got from the police report was that I made a lane change. And in the process of this lane change, uh, what was described as a flatbed truck uh, struck me from the left rear uh, of my car and that drove me off uh, off the freeway into an embankment. There was no side railing. It just went down into an embankment. And along the way, there were palm trees and my car struck a palm tree head on, uh, causing everything to come forward, the engine um, to basically be in my passenger seat. And um, I didn't lose my leg from the injuries itself, um, or excuse me, from the car wreck itself. Um, I lost my leg from the injuries sustained from the car wreck that just, you know, were... They just were, you know, um, it was just too bad. My, my leg had been um, damaged too bad. Um, I had breaks in the tibia, fibia um, of my leg, a lot of nerve damage. And so um, my my leg was basically, there was a rod from my knee to my le uh, to my ankle and, and my, um, my heel, my ankle had been fused. Um, I lost all plantar flexion and dorsiflexion and, and movement in my toes. And um, I was basically just, um, you know, dragging it along, dragging my leg along. You know, I got to the point to where I'm using a cane, you know, to, to walk around. And it, um, it came to a point to where I had to make a decision, you know, and that decision was based off of... Um, just quality of life that I want to live and then also too there was uh, insurance uh, issues and pressures surrounding the whole thing so it was like I had to you know make a decision how am I going to live life and so um, there's six surgeries that I endured beforehand trying to save the leg you know bone grafts skin grafts and uh, seventh surgery was uh, was the amputate uh, below the below the knee and 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 luckily, I was able to to keep my knee. Had I not been able to keep the knee, I'm um, pretty sure my uh, decision would have been different. Um, but at that time, you know, after all these surgeries, and this was a, over a course of a few years. So I'm 19 when I get in my car accident. Um, I'm 22 when I'm about to go through with the amputation. And so, you know, again, at this point, it was... I've already uh, tried everything. I've already done everything. It's at this point, like all I'm listening to is a doctor saying, you'll be better off. You'll, you'll be just fine. And, you know, my thinking was like, it can't be any worse. So um, I went through with it and um, it was about a couple months before I got my first uh, prosthetic. Um, but when I got my first prosthetic, you know, I just stayed up night after night working at it and turns out it was the the best thing I could have done you know um, but I had to go through that process of, of seeing you know um, just going through that process you know I had to see it I had to go through the process I had to go through those surgeries and you know at that time it was just like I had a, I had a lot of faith in the doctors you know um, and them telling me that hey you know what if you have that will you're gonna get back up you'll be just fine. And so, you know, I'm a leg amputated below the knee. And that was in uh, 07. I'm 22 years old. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, what needed to be done. And, and that was the course that I took.